Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and when we left it last time we had snuck our way down into a lower terrace, and we were about to visit the pub. So, uh, three, two, one, and let's get going into Javier's Cantina. Let's see what wonderful adventures await us here. Yeah, Galrude again, Pazark, can't stand Pazark. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, this looks deadly. Go away. Good advice. Hey, you not talk like that. We just want to say hi to big bad bounty hunter, hunter Kalo Nord. Nah, this can't be Kalo Nord. He's supposed to be tough. This guy is nothing but a runt. Mm -hmm. What? What that mean? You be funny, tough guy? You know who we are, Kalo. We're members of the Black Valka gang. You don't want to be getting funny with us, tough guy. Ooh. Me no understand. One, two, why he count? He trying to count how many of us is against him? It's three against one, Kalo. What do you think about those odds? Well, you have something more to say? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, stay out of that fellow's way, but uh, we will pick these corpses clean, because, hey, everyone needs money. Ah, Lower Terra Citizen, Lower Terra Citizen, let's have a nice little look around. All in, and uh, some Bith and Twi'lek peeps. Ooh, a Wookiee. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. Ooh. Little girl should not be in bar. This is no place for little girl. If little girl smart, she run away home now. God, what is she, a honey badger? Who you call a little girl, tuba face? Well, possibly. Little girl needs lesson in manners. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Mission, I'm busy. They just brought my food. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise. So get yeah, over my here. Man. We no one trouble with Wookie. I have a problem with you, little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. Zed. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Little girl lucky, she has big friend. Mmm, there she is. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, they seem important. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. Mm. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your Zed. That's weird. A Twilink who speaks galactic basic? It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. Hmm. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You sure yeah. a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, mm -hmm. and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. Oh. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... How do a Wookiee and a Twi'lek street urchin end up as best friends? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. Mm -hmm. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. Mm -hmm. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. No doubt. Uh, I'd like to ask... I want to ask you some questions. I'm, I'm, I don't think we're going to get a better opportunity to... Well, you came to the right person. You see? Right person. Look at that. On lower terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Ooh. Okay. Well, why not? Let's do a bit of uh, research. So, um, tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate. Uh -huh. And I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new Ooh. ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. I don't know much <sighs> about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a mm -hmm. ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. 
Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Huh. The Ebon Hawk, you say? I assume precisely no relation whatsoever to the Millennium Falcon. Um, okay, tell me about the Lower City Gangs. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the uh -huh. Lower City. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Vex. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. Uh -huh. The Vex are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident Ooh, years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Yeah. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Ooh, why did Brezhik leave the hidden Beck? This, uh, this is actually kind of intriguing. Why did Brezhik leave the hidden Becks? When Gadden went blind, uh -huh. everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. Hmm. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. <laughs> he wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. Oh. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Vex from the face of Terrace. This gang war well, is not to tale. totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. It's like they've fallen to the dark side. So, um, well, just to uh, complete it, tell me about Kalo Nord. I assume he's a refugee from Skyrim? Kalonord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. Oh. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. Oh, I've God. Just for the Iridium Plague? He hangs around Zack's bounty office, mm -hmm. but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. Ooh. I figure Kalo's been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Well, no doubt. Huh. Well, that was a uh, very interesting. So um, I'll be going now. Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. But I haven't finished eating. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Uh. Come on, we'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Mm. <gasps> I leveled up! Hooray! Excuse me. <coughs> Now we could auto level up, but we will level up. Well, not really. So attributes, one point. Uh, okay, so strength, physical power, high strength, and modified to melee. Mm. Dexterity, agility, reflexes, ranged attack rolls, increased defense rating, mm. and health points. Uh, has more plus the number of points if your actor has to spend on essential skills. Damage and reasoning. Wisdom. Power and perception. High wisdom. What's the Jedi Force points? Oh, yeah, don't spoil the fact we're going to become a Jedi soon. Force power. Force power of the Jedi and charisma. There's personality and ability to lead. High charisma has more plus the force value power. Oh, choices, choices. Um. Alright, let's. Uh. Oh. Hmm. I see. I'm gonna be doing a lot of bashing people on the head. I mean, that's a given. So tell you what. Hold on. As modifiers, number of points a character has to spend on essential skills. Um. Ooh. Oh, choices! Uh, let's. Because I'm sure I've got up a few more levels before things really count. So, let's add one point to my ability to bash people on the nut this time. Skill. Oh, I can't improve. That's annoying. It's awareness. Spot objects. That could be useful. Tree injury. Yeah, well, yeah. Hold on, one second. Oh, related attribute charisma. Ah, okay. That one. Alright, change my mind, let's up charisma. And I still can't up that. Well. Oh, that's vexing. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll go with strength. God, I'm so indecisive. Well, up awareness. Beats. All right. Now we. I don't. We're gonna stick with our dueling, but we. What? Pete, we will get. 
Plus one to persuade, or plus two. Ah. Uh, won't need that yet. I'm sure we'll level up again, so we will get flurry. Because that's always fun. <clears throat> yeah, we can get another, well, 3,965 experience points. Um, okay, so let's have a look around Javiar's Cantina. Now, mission did mention, <laughs> mission mentioned something fairly fascinating. Ah, the bounty office. Uh, that's the way out. Okay, so let's visit the bounty office. Because that sounds like an opportunity to make money and get experience points. I've not yet seen you here before, human! You are new to the bounty. No, I can't do that voice again, can I? Mm -hmm. uh, you're new to the bounty office, yes. My name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. Hmm. Yeah. Are you looking for work? Now work. There are many bounties available here, legal and otherwise, but they pay quite well. Or are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm one of Davik's best agents. I'm the hook with all the answers. Oh, we are not going to give up the Rack Ghoul Serum. Um, what the hell? You work for Davik? Not officially, no. I work for the bounty office, but Davik pays me to keep my eyes open and report to him. And uh, for me to post his bounties. Hmm, Davik posts bounties in the government office? Is that even legal? We used to have to keep our relationship secret, but since the Sith arrived, nobody cares what happens in the lower city. Davik can do whatever he wants. That's fair enough. But enough talk, back to business. This is the bounty office, so we should talk bounties, or are you looking for information? Uh, I've, I've got all the information I need. Let's tell me about the bounties. There's two government contracts. One's an assassin then named Selvin. The other is Bindak Starkiller. He's a famous deathmatch duelist. Between them, they've killed hundreds of people. Ooh. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. Well, indeed not. We don't end up on the list of your victims. That's a good point, Carl. But not all the bounties are dangerous. Have it got some special contracts? One's for a girl named Dia. She attacked Holden, one of Davik's men. Another's for a man named Largo, who owes Davik money. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. It pays. And then there's Matrick. He used to work for Davik, then he betrayed the exchange, and now Davik wants him dead. Dead, 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 dead. Put all this information in your datapad. Um. So, how do I collect the credits for these contracts? It's simple. You find people, you kill them, you tell me, I'll pay you. I know everything that's going on in Taris, so if you kill one of them, I'll know. Alright. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Where are we going now? Goodbye, human. You come back if you want to earn credits. Bounties pay good money, and remember, you come to see me if you want information. Oh, Alright. Uh, let's have a look. So, Bendek's bounty. There is an official government bounty out on Bendek Starkiller, a famous duelist renowned for killing dozens if not hundreds of people in illegal death matches. <coughs> Bendek has been known to frequent... Yeah, well, I'm sure we passed him at some point. Lago's bounty. A merchant named Lago was lost some money to Davik Kang. Because unable to pay debts, Lago was going to hiding. In response, Davik has put an illegal bounty on his head. Selvan's bounty. There's an official government bounty. She's an assassin. And there are no leads as to where she may be hiding now. Uh, former associate named Matrick, which is an has had an illegal bounty. Alright. <clears throat> um, actually, yeah, hold on. Maybe. Uh, yeah, blah blah, who cares? What do you do to the bounties you're offering? Well, okay. I'll be going now. I mean, if it's all the information he's going to give me is on the swoosh, on the uh, data pad, I may as well just be you know, honest of that. Um, <sighs> yeah, Pazak, I think not. Oh, hold on, let's, let's think this through logically. Where they're likely to be hiding. Well, we have passed <clears throat> multiple, and I mean multiple, apartment blocks, both down here and in Upper Terrace. So, it... Hello. Is there more? Ah! 
more people to... Good lord. Double kill! Oh yeah! Time to chop you up into so much meat, son! Oh. Baby. Where the guy? Oh, that's the guy I did earlier. <clears throat> and by did, I mean hideously raped his um, still warm corpse. Oh, come on, you Is that just me? Standard remains, standard doors, credits. Give me that money. Is that two? That is two apartments. Anyway, yeah, multiple apartment blocks. So I think if we do a uh, sort of like a search of the apartments, we may just get lucky. Yeah. Well, we're getting super lucky at the moment. <laughs> Do you know, I don't think I've ever used grenades so much in my life. It is thoroughly, thoroughly glorious. Open door. Black Volker. Oh, I shouldn't use them all up, I may need them. Let's charge them in and cut them up into so much meat. Alright, change this up a bit. There we go. I love the smell of dead ganger in the morning. Oh, come on. Carl, get out of my goddamn way. Alright. Look around. None of these things are locked. Hmm, uh, oh. Ooh. Uji, Photo, Shana, Uja, Alinda, Nupa. Desk. That's a cute. Oh, no, 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 no. That to me looks like a puzzle, and I can't be bothered to do it just yet. And by can't be bothered, I mean I want to make sure I have the solution all Googled and stuff, uh, so I don't look too foolish when I fail. Bash. Lock a door on me. <laughs> I have a super sword that can cut open any door. Hey, you can't come in here. This is a private apartment. Um. Ooh, ah, mad trick. Look at that. What are you doing in here? This place looks abandoned. And your business is turn around and go back the way you came. If you know what's good for you. Uh, let's try persuasion. Are you in some sort of trouble? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, I won. I mean, I, I, I guess I could tell you. You'll probably find out on your own eventually, anyway. Zex is giving his bounties away like candy, or so I hear. My name's Metric. I, I, I used to work for the exchange, but all the violence and killing started to get to me. I knew what I was doing was wrong, so I turned state's evidence. My testimony helped put some of the biggest criminals on Terrace away for life, but, but Davik didn't like seeing his friends go down, so now he's got a bounty on my head. What a strange place to put a chocolate bar. Um, <laughs> oh, on a silver platter, was it? No, I'm um, going to be the good guy, obviously. Uh, maybe there's some way I could help you out of this mess. I don't think there's much anyone could do, and I'm getting sick of running. I've decided to make my stand right here, this far, no further. <sighs> okay, I mean, maybe you could fake your own death. That sounds like a plan. Maybe you could fake your own death. I've already thought of that. I even came up with a plan of how to do it, but I can't pull it off while I'm holed up in here. Well, tell me your plan and I might help you out. The trick is getting Davik to buy it when there's no body found at the scene. If it looks like a dad in a massive explosion, he won't be suspicious when my corpse never turns up. If I had an accomplice to go back and tell Davik that they were the one who set up the explosion to eliminate me, I, I think I'd be home free. I have some definitions expertise from my own days in the exchange, so I, I could set it all up, but, but I need to get my hands on a permacrete detonator. Or Michael Bay. 
So I, mean, I could get you a permacreed detonator. I don't usually sell them in stores here in Old City, but the upper city might, might carry them. You might want to look there first. Alright. Sounds like a plank off. What? What? There we go. So, a permacrete detonator, you say? Um, well, let's explore the rest of uh, down here, just in case there's a... It's just, you know... Ooh! This is obviously the Black Vault Girls kit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was a good idea to put money into uh, strength. Yoink! Ooh, anything else I can steal while I'm here? <clears throat> Ooh, I have an idea. But first, a <laughs> time to murder them. <laughs> but what are we doing? We are just sitting here, cutting drugs and 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 you know, plotting child prostitution. That was no reason to come in and kill us. <laughs> Oh, did I miss one? Apparently. Ooh. Ooh. That's got a shield up. Ooh. And bash him on head. And so was created taxation. Ooh. Ooh. Levelly, levelly experience points. Ooh, more supplies. Ooh, hello. Ooh, 25 credits and an energy shield and a shock stick. Alright. Uh -huh. Yeah, you'll be sure. fine. Oh, what the hell. Oh, cars went up a level. Excellent. We had guns and a sword, and he was going to use his fists. Bless. Ready. All right. Let's have a look. What have you got? Um. Oh, yeah. I think tree injury will be best for him. Feats. Oh, that's not good. Okay, what has he already got? Yeah. So look, da da. Well, he's just going to be using blasters, to be fair. What's this doing? Heavy weapons. Hmm. Well, he's going to be dual wielding a lot, so yes, go with. Oh, rapid shot, actually. That might be a good one. Except. Alright. See if we can that one. Almost there. Oh, I can't be bothered to do that. Okay, how's the time looking? Oh, right, I think that actually might be a convenient moment. Um. Oh, God, what are we on now? Oh, Grand Tour 8, good lord. 08. Alrighty. So, uh, yeah, when we come back, we will... I suppose we're going to see what that's all about. That might be fun. Then we'll go and get a Permacrete Detonator, I think. So, until next time, keep on gaming in the free world. I've got to touch a hangover, bureaucrat. Don't push me.